Tell us about repair negotiations. So, I mean, there's there's all different kinds of uh, things that will come up. I can tell you um, the important things. The important things are the expensive things. Uh, the roof, HVAC, structural, um, old electrical. Now we're in a rural area, so well and septic. And then the biggest one that that uh, causes the most problems are crawl spaces, foundations. So. Those are all things that if things come up, those can be very expensive repairs and, and need attention. Uh, let me tell you, let me tell you the common ones, like ahead of time, the stuff that always comes up that you're always getting. Because when you get this report, the report's gonna be like 50 to 75 pages, and the summary is gonna be like two or three pages, and you're gonna see all this long list of repairs, and you're gonna go, oh, why did I ever buy this house? And then as a seller, you're going to be like, oh my God, this inspector tore me apart. Why? They're required to disclose and go over these things. But um, uh, some common things are uh, double taps into your circuit breaker. So they'll have two wires going into the same circuit. That's a big no-no, but people cut corners and that happens all the time. Junction boxes. You'll have junction boxes in your attic and in your crawl space that don't have covers. I mean, it's a 59 cent piece. Sometimes electricians get lazy, sometimes they fall off, whatever, um, but that's not a big deal. Um, vapor barriers. Um, they're either in the crawl space, there is no vapor barrier, or the vapor barrier's been moved around and it's not covering 100% of the floor. So that's a big one. Make sure the vapor barrier's intact. GFCI. Homes that are older don't have those GFCI. It's the uh, outlets that have that cir circuit breaker already in them. They're required to have those if they're close to a wet area like a sink, um, but other outlets, or they're required if they're outside. <clears throat> That's current code, but maybe you know 30 years ago it wasn't a requirement. So that'll come up on an inspection report all the time. And then you can actually have an outlet next to the sink that has one of those, but it's not working, it's not tripping, it's not working effectively. Um, leaky faucets gas leaks which sounds really bad but you know the those fittings and and they come around with a special machine and if any propane or gas is detected that's a bad thing um a uh, hole in the vinyl if you have a vinyl sided house and a mower went by the rock hits it and there's a small hole that needs to be caulked or replaced that is an intrusion so these are stuff that things come up all the time and they're not that bad there are some there are some BS things that come up a lot that I'd like to go over. And and I'm going to sound like a bad guy for calling this BS. And I'm not saying the inspectors are bad, but these are things that buyers, buyers agents use that freak sellers out. And it's more common that they're, that they're not a big deal, but they come across as being a big deal. So first we hear about all the time is mold. Well, I'm here to tell you, Every single house in North Carolina has mold. I mean, maybe every single house in the world has mold. I mean, we have mold. Whether or not your your crawl space is inundated with some black spore mold, the really deadly or the kind that'll make you sick, that's extremely rare. We've we've seen that a couple of times, but it doesn't happen. But almost every single inspection report we get now, somebody says mold in the crawl space. Well, that can happen. Um, uh, so just because you see that doesn't mean you have to do $15,000 worth of work to the crawl space. I mean, it's just people need to do a little bit more research. The other one that we always get is grading. Well, it's amazing to me that all these guys are building houses and they're not doing the grading right. But inspectors are always say, I don't like the grading. Well, guess what? If you find a house and the inspector says he doesn't like the grading, I'm not going to be able to get you the grading fixed, okay? The grading is done. It already has to move on and everything. So, you know, there are other things you can do to fix that, but that's one that we get all the time, grading. Roof, you know, roof is, uh, uh, it's, uh, the roof is 20 years old. It's got another 10, 15 years of life expectancy. Well, people say to see that and they're like, oh my God. Uh, well, guess what? Every roof has a certain amount of life expectancy. It's just where on the scale you are. Same thing with the HVAC. So, you know, the seller's point is it's performing its intended function. You know, there's no leaks or anything, but the buyer's point is, well, 10 years from now, I'm going to have to replace it. Yes, that's homeownership, right? <laughs> you got to replace the roof. So it's just one of those things. And then one of the biggest ones I get in arguments about with inspectors are these weep screed holes. 
So we got the faux rock that you see on the front of houses and there's some, some builders will tell you, or some inspectors will tell you, you got to put holes in there so the water gets out. But then some builders will say, if you put a hole there, the water will get in. <laughs> so, you know, it's just, just have some common sense. You don't need to redo the entire fake rock around the house just because it doesn't have some weak street holes. But we can, there, there are some workarounds. You have to have common sense. And then the other one that we see a lot of is, is um, we see a lot of people testing for it is radon. We usually don't have a whole lot of radon issues here. Um, I'm not even sure, this, again, this sounds horrible, right? But I'm not even sure if it's worthwhile to test for radon unless you have some extenuating circumstances. I, I'm afraid it can be in countertops or, or something like that. It can be on countertops. Uh, uh, in, in Chatham County, you're going to get it more in North Chatham when you see a lot of rock. Um, then it's a higher instance. And then if you have a basement. But, you know, the new basements are really pretty well done. Uh, it's the older basements that aren't as ventilated as well. Radon is natural. It happens all the time. It's just you have a situation that's capturing the radon and making it a health concern. And then, you know, you have, you have these measurements that come in and, and what the EPA says and what the, what the home inspector says. And um, there are levels that you know, the EPA sets, but then you can certainly find information that any radon is a bad thing. Well, then you can get into some impossible situations where you're having people cure things that are fairly close to naturally occurring. So you just have to have a sense of reasonable, but people should know the important ones are the expensive ones, the common ones that happen all the time. And then there's some ones that I think are just straight BS.